Big boobs, little boobs, curvy, petite, introvert, extrovert, loud, quiet. You, my friend, perfect, exactly the way you are right now. I'm Steph, your host, the big boobed introvert CEO of Confetti Curves, and I'm going to remind you that confidence comes from loving all that you are right now. Shall we get started? It's me. Hi, I'm the problem. It's me. And if you don't get that reference, you need to listen to Taylor Swift's new album. <laughs> um, I want to start off this podcast kind of by apologising that I have not posted a podcast episode in I think four or five weeks now. Um, I've been going through it lately. I went through probably a four week period where I just wanted to give up. Um I just kind of hit that like low kind of depression state and, you know, simple tasks just became unbearably fucking hard. Um, so I just didn't do anything. The dogs destroyed toys. I left them all over the lounge room floor. I started going to um, in-person counselling uh, again, which was really helpful because I had been kind of neglecting my therapy. Um, so it's kind of nice to just, cause I started with a new counselor. I kind of started, I got to like tell my story again and like from a different perspective from the first time I started going to therapy at the start of this year. So it kind of was nice in a way to just kind of be able to re-reflect on some of the really big juicy issues and how they were still affecting me. And like, um, apologies, this podcast is going to be quite a ramble um I just got have a lot of thoughts that I want to get out um and then over the next few months fucking years probably um I'll be sharing more of my kind of like story I think of my reflection of everything I feel like my solo podcasts are actually a space where I get to really share all of the like nitty gritty details of my life. And it's also become like a bit of a therapy for me to be able to tell my story and take control of my story and then connect with people who have been through similar things. And I've had some amazing conversations on my Confetti Curves Instagram where people have listened to the podcast and been like, oh my God, I went through this too. Or this is something similar. Or like, thank you for sharing your story. Like it's one of the best things about this podcast and I'm going to really make a commitment to sit down and record more podcasts, get more incredible people on as well, because I still love having conversations with people and just kind of, we're going to rebirth the podcast. I'm going to like really just get spark that passion again, because I have passion for life all over again. I made (laughs) a journey to Perth last weekend. I had a five day weekend and it was honestly life-changing and I feel like a whole new person because of it I was so fucking lucky enough to be able to book in with Shayla the photographer who does nude and lingerie shoots in Perth and she also like travels around Australia um but she is the most incredible person she has this aura of like happiness and safety around her so I was able to have the fucking time of my life getting my picture taken in my underwear and I even did some nude photos like it was just so freeing and so empowering at the same time and I just felt like a like a sexy motherfucker and like I looked and feel still that energy from that shoot like it was just something that like my body image self would have never allowed me to do and I had a couple of like because I booked this trip months ago like easy six months ago and I kept having these little like flickers in my mind of like you're about to have like a nude photo shoot like maybe stop eating like maybe you should you should you know put some effort in because I mean look at you and like this negative self-talk like kept popping in and popping in and popping in And I didn't take action on them. And I'm so proud of myself for having the strength to be like, no, like I, the whole point of this photo shoot is to go and 
celebrate me right now. It's not about like starve yourself for three months, four months, whatever, so that you look the best in these photos. It's about feeling good right now. And I felt fucking incredible. Like my ego is off the charts now. Like I literally sent a picture to my sister being like, FYI, I'm hot. And when I posted some of the pictures on the Instagram, on the Instagram, God, am I 80? On Instagram. Um, and like, I keep looking back at like the reels that um, Siobhan, who was like such a goddess, she came and she took some behind the screens footage so that we can use it on our Instagram um, as well. And like, I've been looking back on that. And like, even if I'm having like a little bit of a, like, ugh, my belly feels a bit big or like, like I'm having a little bit of ne- like negative self-talk. Holy shit. It is so good to like be able to look at something and be like oh no you are fine um it's just amazing and like as like Moira says in Shit's Creek take a thousand naked pictures of yourself now because honestly it feels so good and to just kind of like to like disconnect a little from a mirror and then like look and appreciate yourself in a photo mm. It felt amazing. And like that was just the like the tipping point of the weekend. Um, so that was like a two hour photo shoot, I think. And I'm so excited to see the final products once um, Shayla's had time to like take the photo. We took a thousand pictures. And like in the package that I booked, I like 10 images are included. So I can only imagine how many extra photos I'm going to be buying because Shayla is just amazing. Like I um, drove to the event with Siobhan and back again and like we just spent the entire drive being like Shayla is amazing and has this presence and ability to make you feel so safe and like oh I just wish I could like bottle her energy for like any time you need a pep um so I'm gonna post Shayla's Instagram in my um in the show notes so if you don't already follow her um one what the hell are you doing go follow her two she has an episode on this podcast and oh she's amazing her laugh Her energy just, I will also link that one because you need to listen to that as well. Um, But yeah, so that was a really great celebration of me and I felt fucking incredible. Um, So then on Saturday, I went and did um, an intensive therapy session with Holly Loxton, who has also previously been on this podcast. And to say it was like a rebirth sounds like an exaggeration but it honestly it it was like it was I've like it's a week on and I'm still struggling to like verbalize how much like the darkness in my head has lifted like I don't really like I I can honestly say hand on my heart for the first time in my life I truly love myself like I love me. I accept me for like every single part of me. And I kind of, and I can say that I forgive myself. Like I have released all of the, like really the metaphor that I kept using through the like session was I put myself in a cage away from like all of the light. And like, I feel like I have released myself from that cage now. And I am like, I'm the whole fucking vibe. Like, I am the vibe of my life. I am the colour, the happiness, the love. Like, I am all of that. And I don't need any, like, external validation. And I don't need to keep seeking that from outside sources. I feel like I have been torturing myself and kind of not allowing myself to feel my own love because I didn't think I was worthy of other people's love. And that's just bullshit. Like... No one is not worthy. Every single person is worthy of love. And I know from my experience, hearing that and feeling that are two very different things. And it has taken a lot to get me there. And I just feel amazing that I'm there now. Like there are so many little things that came up that kind of connect so many dots for me. Like anyone who knows me knows that I am a fussy eater. And I have always been a fussy eater. But I came out of the session willing to try foods again. Like I bought a juicer and I've had fresh juices every morning and 
I've been putting like little fruits and things in there that I haven't usually eaten. I've been having pineapple and I tried mango this morning. And these sound like really little basic things, but these are like little cages that I've had in my life for 32 years. Like I have I've never eaten a mango and I've never even really been open to trying a mango. But yeah, I, like, I love mango scents. Like it's just crazy. So there's a whole new rediscovery phase I'm in of rediscovering who I am and like reprioritizing things in my life at this stage um it's been amazing and I feel like the journey is nowhere near over this has just been like a real kick in the butt to really flick some hard switches that I've been like really holding on to so I'm really fucking excited for who I am and for how I'm going to continue to celebrate my life and live it to the best that I can. The other really major thing that has happened in my absence is I have decided to walk away from the confetti curves that I was creating. So Chris, <laughs> two years ago, almost now, I started creating confetti curves, which was a bralette and underwear company designed for big boobs and they were going to be fun and colorful and fully designed for big boobs. Unfortunately, I've spent tens and tens of thousands of dollars in development and samples and I got the final sample that was meant to be like the factory good to go sample. I was going to run a Kickstarter. I was going to use this as the basis of getting everything off the ground they arrived and they missed the mark like they are I would not as a consumer want these as a business owner I wouldn't want to stand by these products like they don't <laughs> they're terrible to be honest like the quality is amazing but they're quality pieces of shit um the design samples that I had sent to them uh weren't matched uh, my sister and I both had tried on the design samples and then the factory samples. And I'm an F to G cup and my sister's a double D to E cup. Um, same back. We both tried them on and our boobs got to like our nipples in the bralettes and that was it. And that just, for me, it's just not, it's not a product that I would be willing to invest even more money in to then send out to consumers that are already in a market where they're underrepresented and they're getting shitty products. I don't want to add my shitty products into the market as well. So I've decided for now, Confetti Curves, the underwear brand, is – she's dead. She can't come to the phone right now. <laughs> the old Confetti Curves can't come to the phone right now because she's dead. We're full of Taylor Swift references today. Um, so I'm walking away from that, but – I have some really major ideas in my mind of business ventures that I want to um, pursue instead. And I think they're more aligned to where I am right now. They're more aligned to where I want to be. And they're just a lot of fucking fun. Like, so I think it's disappointing that the, like the Confetti Curves dream in its first form is a little dead. But that's not to say that in the future I might not, you know, re-kick it up the butt when I've got, like, access to better capital and I can find a company that understands that big boobs are not little boobs and big boobs actually require more fabric to be covered. Um, but that's just not where I'm at right now. So I am happy and I'm content that now's the time to walk away and to try some new things. And who knows? There's some other really cool brands that are emerging and I'm going to use my Confetti Curves platform on Instagram to try some of those brands and to like give honest reviews of where they're at so that anyone that has been kind of along for the for just the bras um, have the opportunity to see some alternatives and to get some honest feedback because I know a lot of people just give their sponsored feedback and that's that's not what we're after. So that's kind of where that is at the moment and I think in the new year I'll announce what my news ideas are and start getting the ball rolling on those um 
But yeah, so this is just a little life update. Um, and I will make a concerted effort to check in more regularly, put some more episodes out. Um, I'm going to be sharing uh, a lot more personal nitty gritty details now that I can kind of step back from it and take the sadness and a bit of the shame that I was holding against myself. Um, so yeah, so I think one of the next episodes that I'm going to record will be talking about no longer protecting my abuser, which I think is something that a lot of people might be able to relate to. Um, I'm also going to be sharing some stories about my journey through therapy and gosh, who knows what else. Um, so (laughs) I think this is probably enough for this week, uh, but I will definitely be touching base again next week and it'll be solo stuff again next week. So, um, strap in and let me know if there's any kind of questions or topics that you would like to talk about because I am all... (laughs) I am on Instagram way too often at Confetti Curves. Um, so, yeah, I would love to talk to you. Like, reach out. I love a chat. Um, but, yeah, have a great day. If you just had as much fun as I did, um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I can't wait to hear what you thought of the episode.